almost got away from me right there. Alright guys, so we're back out and we're looking for some critters today. Now I've actually seen a couple of armadillos out today, so that's something I really want to show you guys. Armadillos are nicknamed the rabbit total and they're a really cool species. They're a mammal, but they're not super aware of their surroundings, so we might be able to get super close to some. In fact, I think, I think I just passed a family of them. Hang on. Hang on. We need to stop for that. The whole family of them. Hello. How are you doing, little buddies? How are you doing? Armadillos are a super docile animal, and they're really cute. But the second they feel my footsteps, they zip away, right back to their burrow. And they are fast. Oh, that's the last one. It's okay. Check this out. This is going to be the burrow. And I'm sorry to scare you, little guys. I was hoping they'd let us sit there and film me. This is our burrow. Wow. Nice faceless tree. Oh, there was a whole family of them. They had a mama, some little babies. That was cool. Well, they're down in that burrow now. Let's go see if we can find another, another one. In the evening, most armadillos are foraging for bugs and other little things they like to eat, so it's a good time to see them. Armadillos are a pretty common animal, and a lot of people really don't like them since they dig up their gardens. I'm pretty good at catching them, so let's see if we can get a better look at them. I'm doing I'm doing it. Oh, I'm doing it. Oh, buddy. Sneaking up on an armadillo isn't easy, but once they know you're there, you gotta be quick. He's a quick little booger. Even the younger ones are speedy, but I do eventually outrun them. This is a little baby armadillo. It's a nine-banded armadillo. He almost got away from me right there. It's a lot of work to catch this little guy. Now normally, they'd be a bit faster, but this is a very young one. In fact, I'd have to guess that he just left his nest. And uh, he was digging around in those oak leaves, trying to look for something. So let me bring him down right here. Now these armadillos have a really tough leathery shell. And this is a nine-banded armadillo. What these guys do is they go around digging up all kinds of little bugs. It's all right, little buddy. It's all right. Now there's a lot of different things that these guys can carry. Leprosy, and you definitely never want to go and touch a dead armadillo. This guy's pretty safe, he's a little young one. He doesn't have any injuries, I don't have any cuts on my hands. But you never want to go and grab a nine-banded armadillo. I've done this many times before. Armadillos are a really placid animal. Look at them, very relaxed. They have very poor eyesight. That's why you wouldn't see me coming, but they have very good sense of vibration. This is a small little guy, only a little baby. They get about 10 times bigger than this. Since they've got this really tough shell, they have a rough time feeling around things with their skin. So they've got little hairs that cover their entire body. Nine-banded armadillos are super common here. Hello, little buddy. They eat little insects, fruits, vegetables, anything that they can dig up. Now they are a mammal, even though they've got some reptile-like qualities. A tough, scaly tail and that leathery back kind of looks like a turtle. Many people mistake them automatically for a turtle the moment that they see them because they've got that kind of rounded back and that shell. But these guys are in fact a mammal. You're a little cutie. And once again, never ever go and try and mess with an armadillo. They're a wild animal and he's really cute. I'm doing my best to keep him nice and relaxed. And look, I can just kind of hold on to his tail here. And he's very placid. It's all right, it's all right. He's very relaxed. They can't bite, they've got a little tiny mouth, but they can kick. They kick like crazy. And if you look at those claws, they've got huge digging claws. And you wouldn't want to get kicked by an armadillo because they can gash you open with these big claws. And you'll notice, I picked him up by his tail, and then I went straight for his back, and kind of held him nice and gently. There's no reason for me to stress this animal out. He's already pretty tired from me chasing him. And uh, once I let him go, we want him to be nice and stress-free to where he can hunt for the rest of the day. What are you doing? A lot of people really don't like armadillos. They dig up their lawns and uh, they dig up all kinds of different fruits and vegetables, but they're really cute. Look at this little guy. He's got a little cute face. He's kind of got a nose like an anteater. That's kind of what these guys are, is an armored anteater. 
Now these guys used to be called rabbit turtles by the Indians or a variation of that name. And that's because they've got a really good jump, they've got a really good spring, and in fact, these guys get hit by cars all the time. And before they get hit by cars, they'll actually jump super high in the air. And it can actually crack windshields, which is really rough. These guys get hammered by cars all the time. And I think this little guy is wanting to get away from us. He's got good energy. He's very relaxed. He's been a very good boy for us. But being a mammal, we don't want to stress this guy out for too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow him until he leaves. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like. And I will see you guys next time. All right, here you go, little buddy. There you go.